Hello everyone, welcome to a Paper Flourish craft video. My name is Julie. Today I'm going to make the video part two in the Welcome Home Masterboard video. So the first video went up a few days ago and in it we created, I created an A4 masterboard using the isopropyl alcohol and also the acrylic paint, Stamperia um, acrylic paint so that video is up there if you haven't seen it yet please watch it and then to, in the video today I'm going to use that masterboard to create some projects and someone's just come up to see what's going on hello Murphy here we are he's on my lap at the moment we'll see if he comes to say hello in a sec so I made before the video I had already made a masterboard and they had the ivory background now out of that masterboard I've already made a couple of projects so I've made a card front here and I'm using to decorate the projects I'm using products from Stamperia and they're products from the create happiness welcome home collection and I've been using the collectibles pad you see there's a little bit taken out already here that was for a butterfly so and these these collectibles are amazing they're, they're, you fussy cut the images. What I love about them, for example, this cute little cat, the same image is on the back and the front. So, for example, on your card, if you didn't want the cat to face that way, you make the cat face that way. So it's printed both sides. So really handy. Also, if you've got a little bit of an overlap, which I have here on the tag, it doesn't matter. The same image is on the back. It looks really nice. Now, what I've done with the tag, I've fuss, I've die cut the masterboard. So you can die cut masterboards. You can cut any shape out of it. And I've used the five crazy ladies. And this is the Taj Mahal die, um, tag die set. So I've used that. I've cut the middle size tag, uh, the masterboard with that. And then I've cut some, this is Periwinkle Kazercraft cardstock. And that goes really nicely with the Create Happiness colours. So I've cut that out of the Periwinkle cardstock, popped the tag on, layered them up. And then I've just used, um, I've actually done a little bit of stamping in the background, which you'll see me do. I'm going to make a tag shortly. And um, so I'm going to follow the similar process in a moment using the master ball, which we which I made the other day in the video, which had the more purple background to it. Finished off with a um, the eyelet and also the ribbon at the top, but very very easy to do. But it makes a beautiful background that master board. So this is the card I've created. It's got a little bit of stamping. So I'll put those to the side because I'm going to do similar process now with the master board which is we did create I did create the other day this is at the moment what I've got left of it so this is the one with the purple background because I've already cut out the pieces which I need for the projects I'm going to take you through I've tried to cut as much out and prepare as much as I can um, just so that you don't have to sit and watch me fussy cut so let's do the tag first I'll just bring over the pieces here which I've collected to make the tag. What I've done this time, I found the purple background look better on pink. This is Bloom Kazercraft cardstock. When I put it on the purple, it looked nice, but it didn't show up the background quite as well, whereas I think on the pink it looks really pretty. Same thing, cut it out of the Taj Mahal Five Crazy Lady tag die set. And I've already fussy cut some of the images to go on the tag and these are all from the welcome home um, collectibles pad from stamperia so i've got those all ready to go so i'm just going to layer these up i'm going to use the stamperia create happiness matte glue this is a great size glue and it's easy to work with it's got a pretty fine tip on it and um, it would be a really good one if you're going away, just a little travel glue to take with you. So they're available in store. Now I'm going to do a little bit of stamping on this quickly. And I'm going to use the stamp sets which came with the Welcome Home um, collection. These were released then. So I'm going to use this one here. And I will list all of the products I've used in the description for the for the uh, video now this one has a really fine script stamp this looks great the stamperia dye ink pads this is the raspberry this is one of the new colors as well goes perfectly with this collection i'm never quite sure with a script stamp which is the right way up so i always find if i stamp it first on a piece of paper i can see i don't have the words upside down and i'm just going to randomly stamp this onto the card just in places 
just so eventually I know we're going to have pieces I'm going to have pieces going over the top of this but hopefully some of this will show through all right give that a little bit of a wipe the baby wipe now you could ink the edges of the pieces I'm not going to for the tag I'm just going to add them as they are so I'm thinking of layering up the window this cute little houses in teacups as I said it makes you smile create happiness there's a cat here which I'm planning on putting up on the windowsill I thought this little cat might look cute down the bottom and I've lost a butterfly somewhere around I did have a butterfly See if I can locate that in a moment. I thought the happiness sign could come up here, maybe up above the windowsill. I've got a pretty flower, which again, that might look quite nice somewhere arranged there. We'll do that in a moment and I'll see if I can locate my butterfly. If not, we won't have a butterfly. All right, let's start sticking these on. So first up, I'm going to stick on the windowsill. There we are, last, and then to add the ribbon into the top, I have a the Cropodile, good name isn't that, the Cropodile, and in store we have packs of the eyelets, which go, uh, which are the right size for the Cropodile, and these come in a whole range of colours, I've got the pink set here, and I've chosen this colour pink, this one here, to go on the card. So if you've never used a cropper doll before, check this out. It has two sizes of holes that you can punch. I want to punch the larger one. So that's up here. So I just pop that in, try and get it in the centre, punch my hole. There it is. Already, so hole is punched there already for the eyelet. Pop the eyelet in place. There we go, and then, oh, we need to, oops, I've lost the eyelet. That flew away with the butterfly. Maybe that's where it is. Murphy, do you know where my butterfly has gone? Don't know. He's just busy cleaning himself at the moment, so I don't think he really worries about that too much. All right, so, and then once the eyelet's in place, pop it in the centre, and all you need to do is press, and that attaches the eyelet. How easy is that? So I so said those eyelets come in a big range of colours and we have them in store and online at Paper Flourish. This is seam binding ribbon. You won't find this online. Uh, we have a huge selection of colours in store. So if you are interested in it, give us a phone call. We can help you out with colours and um, and pop those in the post to you as well. So with this stuff, I'm just going to give it a squirt with my water bottle. I'll do that on the side. Scrunch it up. And it goes all like this. It goes all crinkly and creased. It's beautiful. Done. There we are. The purple looks quite pretty. And here's the butterfly. So let's pop it maybe just up there in the corner. The Welcome Home Masterboard. So first project all done. Isn't that pretty? I said it all just matches in together. So I'll pop that to the side. I'll bring it back shortly at the end of the video to show you um, other projects. Something I wanted to show you. I've had a go with, I die cut, this is out of the original, the first masterboard I did with the cream background. I die cut a butterfly and I thought I'd try and use a varnish. Now Stamperia have a varnish here. It's a gloss. It's gloss. It's got a sheen. I wouldn't say it's in your face gloss, but it's nice. So I, I place that over the top and it's given it a nice seal to it. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but if you're looking for sort of more that sort of sheen finish rather than the difference, this kind of almost got a chalky look, that acrylic paint look, whereas that's got a finish on it, varnish. That's a nice product to use. Now you'll see me use this product very soon in a video and I am going to also do a video using this product. So these two together, this is a varnish. This is a product water resistant finish. So this, and they say, I want to, well, first I want to test it out, but it claims to be able to, you put that over the top and you can send something through the dishwasher. So keep a watch out, video coming very soon once I've had a good chance to play with that product. All right, number two project, let's do the card. So this time, let's pop the images to the side. So the card. So I have cut out. Now this is three and seven eighths across, 
five and a half inches down and then the quarter inch bigger for the card mat which again i've done out of the bloom cardstock case craft i'm going to do some stamping this time i'm going to use this stamp set here and i want the bricks so this time i'm going to use the coffee uh, create happiness dye ink pad same thing i'm just going to do some random stamping if you don't want it too dark you can always stamp it off once on the paper you can do some darker some lighter i just want that brick work this time darker ones there we are i think the coffee color looks quite nice on that uh, with that uh, stamp in the background done that takes no time at all to dry let's start to layer everything up I love this balloon I thought that would look really nice up here some more houses and teacups why not this cat is adorable so I can either have the cat going that way or that way I oh which way do you think it's actually quite cute that way I was going to put it the other way but I think I'm going to do that and then I found this is again in the in the collectibles all of these images come from the collectibles the welcome home and the beautiful sign I thought could go up here so you end up just seeing a little bit of those bricks peeping through all right let's stick these down done Again, I could have inked the edges. It would look nice if I'd inked them in the brown. I think I did on that for the car, the card I did. Yes, I did. I inked the edges there with the brown, which looked really nice. So you could have done that with the coffee ink pad if we wanted to. That I will stick onto the card and I might do that now. Quick project number two. Pop that to the side for the moment. ATC cards. So if you've got a little scrap left over, and I did, I think it was after I cut this piece out, I had a little section left over. I thought, well, that's just big enough for an ATC card. ATC card, trading card. I often use these just as a feature on the front of a card. They're a really nice size just to add something special onto a card, or you can make it and give it to someone. It could be a gift tag or just a trading card, swapping cards with ideas for people imagine giving that to someone they go how did you do that background and you just say watch paper flourish youtube videos and you'll find out so i've cut an atc card is two and a half inches across three and a half inches down or two and a half by three and a half so i've cut the piece of masterboard quarter inch smaller two and a quarter by three and a quarter and then i popped it onto the periwinkle card stock and I'm just going to layer up some of these gorgeous images. Uh, project three done. So that's the ATC card. Could have done some stamping and stuff as well on that. Could have inked the edges. Lots of lots of possibilities. And the last one I'm going to show you is I've cut out a bookmark. So this makes a great bookmark. And I've still got this piece left over. I could do another bookmark. I could make some more ATC cards. So said so lots of things you could do you could die cut some pieces to put on put on a card or even in a journal now saying that i have die cut a heart out of the first masterboard i did and i'm going to do another video where you'll see me do a, a quick journal page using that heart so keep a watch out for that one this time i've got the bloom cardstock the pink I'll just pop that to the side for the moment i want to do a big stamp on this uh, where is it this is from the one of those beautiful create happiness i'll just get that one i threw down on the ground create happiness stamps look at all these clocks aren't they fantastic so i've put them onto the board here and i'm going to stamp that i thought that fits all the way down the bookmark and i'm going to do it in coffee i want this to stand out so background done let's start to layer up the images these, these little little teacups is kind of cute I'll pop that on now i'm not going to use any mounting tape being a bookmark i do want to keep it flat here's the bookmark so bookmark done apart from let's pop the eyelet in where's the crocodile gone oh. All right, let's pop that to the side let's bring back the projects so there's the bookmark. Pop the 
lid back on the glue so it doesn't draw out the card, the tag, and the ATC card. It's quite a nice little collection of projects, all with that stunning background um, shining through. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Keep a watch out for that journal page where I'm going to use the die-cut heart from that first masterboard. Thank you. Enjoy, and I'll be back soon. Thanks. Bye.